the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Jan is 27, Sterling is 31. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Hard round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Petter Number And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Main Punk Master Sterling. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. These guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match? Side away. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, man, hit to land. Sterling gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Got the single collar tie. Lands a right hand out of that exchange. Oh, big left hook there. So just over 20 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Jan. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that. Oh! oh. It up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Sterling gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Single collar tie now. He lands a big knee to the body. And that one certainly found the target. 
Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instinct. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. 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 Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Four steps for the end of round one. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, round two is upon us. The human backpack, Al Jermaine Sterling. Ready. Versus Piotr Young. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 48 total strikes have landed for Piotr Young. Not the most efficient performance, landing with 47% accuracy tonight against... Oh, man! Sterling gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Nice leg kick land. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice loop and punch. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice right punch followed by a left. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch from the clinch. Unable to land with that punch. our UFC Bantamweight champion proving tonight that he can get it done with style points. A big knockout to leave with the belt tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion lucky about it. Congratulations to the highly skilled new UFC Bantamweight champion of the world, and I would think he's got the potential to reign for some time. He told anyone that would listen he would become the champion, and not only would he become the champ, he would stay the champ. 
Let's see what happens next as he starts his UFC title.